Negative rumors are always floating around, around Bound for Glory time every year. It doesn't fail. It's like clockwork. This time, this one has to do with merchandise, pay issues, travel pay, all that good shit. Came out a couple weeks ago, but we're going to talk about it on the lounge. Let's go. What up, what up, what up, what's good? I am BQ and this is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. And like I always say, it's the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. If you're not a subscriber already, what are you waiting for? I had said this was something I was going to follow up on. This was a rumor that came out a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I don't remember exactly, about Impact pay issues when it came to merchandise that several talent members of the roster were unhappy that they weren't receiving their royalties, the money from merchandise sales. And then some good positive news came out that Anthem was going to start covering hotel costs, travel costs when Impact hit the road, which was really good news for those who were on per appearance deals and were making quite as much as some of the bigger stars on the roster. So then what happened is they threw the two rumors together. This, you know, this comes from Meltzer, the dirt sheets, all the people, the, blog, the bloggers, all that shit comes together saying, well, Impact, this was something that Anthem did, excuse me, to cover up the issues they're having for merchandise sales, about not paying the talent on time or not paying them at all, or paying them too little, that this was supposed to be some kind of band-aid fix. I'm here to tell you guys, they had nothing to do with each other, and you gotta understand when it comes to business, that there's always gonna be different pots of money, different people in charge of different things. Things don't just coincide that easily like that. It's not really how it works. Now, in this case, Anthem, this was something they had been working on for quite some time to handle these travel costs for the workers. This was this has been in the works for a while now. But Anthem handling this for the workers had nothing to do with trying to patch up what happened with the merchandise. Now, what comes with the merchandise, when it comes down to that, yes, there is some truth to what is being said. Every time these rumors come out on the websites, there's always gonna be a little bit of truth to it. But think about your workplace. If someone files a complaint and then management says, okay, we've received several several complaints about this and this, but it, it's really one person, you know what I mean? Or it's really two people. So there is some truth to this, but from what I'm understanding, it's, it's not widespread around the company. It, it's probably you know a couple of situations where it's happening, but Anthem is, opening the lines of communication with each wrestler on the roster. Yes, they can do those. They can audit the company. They can ask for the paperwork showing the merchandise sales and the numbers. But to this date, from what I'm understanding, no one has asked for that. So I think the lines of communication have been very, very open. Now, communication is a two-way street. Obviously, you want to have an open-door policy up here, but if the wrestlers over here are not utilizing that open-door policy and perhaps choosing to stay right here in the middle and be disgruntled about it, well, yeah, rumors are going to be widespread. They're going to fly. And that doesn't mean the wrestlers just want to be negative about the whole situation, but some individuals are not comfortable with going and talking to their bosses. That's just the way it is. That's, that's anywhere you go to work, people are going to be like that. And then the lines of communication come like this, become a mess, and then rumors start flying around. But when it comes to this whole Impact merchandise thing, there are new people in charge. There's obviously a lot of changes within Anthem, the way the company is operating. So from what I understood when Dipsy Carter was in charge, that they used to pay wrestlers a, a, a lump sum at the beginning of a merchandise deal. So they say, hey, we're putting out this new shirt on Shop Impact. We just give you this lump sum, and we're just gonna eliminate all the, the yuckies that come with, with the royalties, because that can be a little bit of a mess. So if there's truth that that's how it operated back then, and you were strictly at the time dealing with shop impact, now obviously things have changed later down the road. It's not just doing shop impact. They're hitting the road and they're doing the Twitch and the Impact Plus special. Now I've only been to one Twitch show and that was Rise of the Knockouts about a year ago and I do believe they were selling some Impact merchandise. But when it hit the road, obviously now there's more opportunities to get the merchandise out there. They couldn't do that in the Impact Zone in Orlando. They weren't allowed to sell their own merchandise like that. They couldn't just have an Impact Wrestling stand. So now they have the opportunity to do that. They can do that at the pay-per-views. I mean, they couldn't even do that at Bound for Glory and Slam Reversary in the Impact Zone. Now they can do that. There's more opportunities for the merchandise to be moved. So there is some truth to everything that's being said, but it not, it's not as massive, it's not as huge as maybe the websites have led you to believe. 
It's probably something that's happened with a handful of wrestlers, but because that open line of communication is there and they can't audit the company and no one has done it yet, that means that Anthem has probably been in pretty good communication with these workers and it is something they are working, trying to resolve. But as far as the travel and everything like that goes, nothing to do with each other. That is something they've been working on for a while and will hopefully implement soon if it hasn't been implemented already. So I am your boy BQ. I am going to do my best here on the lounge to get to the bottom of some more rumors as opposed to just doing too much original content on here. I'm going to try to focus on the news and the rumors a little bit more and kind of dig around a little bit like I used to with this channel. So stick around. It is the lounge. Subscribe if you're a first timer. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.